In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build custom metrics inside your dashboard. Custom metrics allow you to combine numbers from across all your data sources. They allow you to run calculations and drop the results straight into the dashboards and reports. So no more duct taping together Excel sheets just to answer the question, are we growing efficiently? Custom metrics will allow you to pull many different numbers into one KPI so your team knows exactly where they're at and what needs improvement, if any. Let me show you how you can set this up. So first click on dashboards on the left open up a new dashboard then scroll down click add widget manually then right here at the top you can select custom metrics from here click create custom metric and you can choose between start from scratch or clone existing since this is our first widget we're going to click select start from scratch here you want to give your metric a name let's say we want to find out the kpi for the average revenue per appointment under the data type you can select between whole numbers decimal numbers percentage or currency let's select currency in this case click on description add the description right here and right here you select the formula creating a formula means you can combine data points apply calculations and define your metric that way so here we go you can select between metrics operator or numbers let's say metrics let's choose payments and sum of revenue for example then you want to select an operator meaning plus minus multiply divided by and so on so in this case we choose divided and then we want to choose another formula please note you can select up to four so in this case we're going back to metrics appointments count of appointments okay since we are calculating the average revenue per appointment click on advanced settings here you can choose created on updated on transaction date same for count of appointments we leave it as created on and here you select a comparison value set whether an increase or decrease in the metric is considered a positive change and of course the increase in this case is positive the more money we make the better okay so it would be decrease is positive if you wanted to lower costs for example let's hit create and here you can see the widget has been created but just because it has been created doesn't mean it's been added to the dashboard so here you can click on it you can either edit it again you can clone it or delete it in this this case we just click on the actual widget we don't want to edit anything right now we just want to click add and ta-da here we go it has been added to our dashboard if you wanted to change the theme you can click on themes and select any of the themes then click on update and then don't forget to hit save changes top right corner please note that custom metrics are available for both dashboards and custom reports and also inside of snapshots meaning you can create a dashboard and push it via snapshots into all of your sub accounts also please note it is calculation only custom metrics only compute and display the calculated value based on your formula please note that both agency admins as well as account admins can create custom metrics also all user roles can add existing custom metrics to the dashboards and reports and lastly do date ranges affect your metrics the answer is yes the dashboard report date range affects all of the custom metrics reports in that particular formula and if you want to create your own custom metrics inside of your dashboards you need to be in the 497 plan if you're not on the 497 plan just yet click the links in the description or maybe in my bio and upgrade via my affiliate link and snag all the amazing bonuses we have in store for you i will see you on the other side